When you talk about using your time wisely and taking advantage of the years that you have on earth, the companion whose name comes up in my mind is always Sa'ad ibn Mu'adh radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Now, Sa'ad ibn Mu'adh was a chief of Al-Aws in Medina. And if you remember, when Mus'ab radiallahu anhu went to Medina, he basically got the buy-in of three people and that spread Islam throughout Medina. It was Usaid ibn Hulayr, who we've spoken about radiallahu anhu, and then Sa'ad ibn Mu'adh and Sa'ad ibn Ubadah. May Allah be pleased with them all. So it was these three men at the direction of Mus'ab that brought Islam to and through Medina. And Sa'ad radiallahu ta'ala anhu was only 31 years old and he died at the age of 36. So in those five years, the position that he's going to have with the Prophet sallallahu is almost unheard of. It's absolutely stunning how much the Prophet sallallahu revered this particular man. And of course, that was not just the Prophet sallallahu alayhi because if the Prophet sallallahu loves him that much, then surely that is the love of Allah for him and the love of the angels. Now Sa'ad radiallahu ta'ala anhu participated in Khandaq and he had a wound that he would not succumb to until some time afterwards. And of course that was after he would give the judgment on Banu Quraida as he was looked at as the most trusted person to be able to do so anyway. When the Prophet Sallallahu hears about Sa'ad radiallahu ta'ala anhu taking his last breaths, the Prophet Sallallahu prayed Salatul Fajr and he goes quickly towards Sa'ad radiallahu ta'ala anhu. And SubhanAllah, as he is making his way towards Sa'ad, the Sahaba are walking with him and the straps of their shoes are falling off and their shawls are being lost because of how fast the Prophet Sallallahu is proceeding towards Sa'ad radiallahu ta'ala anhu. And that was not common. So they said to the Prophet Sallallahu they said, Ya Rasulullah, you're walking so fast that we're losing our shoes, we're losing our shawls. What is it, Ya Rasulullah? And listen to what he says. He says, Inni akhafu an tasbiqana al malaikatu ilayhi kama sabaqatna ila hamdala. SubhanAllah. He said, I'm afraid that the angels are going to get to him before we do the way they got to hamdala. SubhanAllah. So it's it's like, I want to get to him before he passes away. And the Prophet Sallallahu quickly comes to the bedside of Sa'ad radiallahu ta'ala anhu and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi is looking around and he is seeing the angels filling the room of Sa'ad radiallahu ta'ala anhu and he says, Haniyan laka ya Abu Amr, Haniyan laka ya Abu Amr. He said, he's looking around, he's saying, congratulations to you, O Abu Amr, congratulations to you. You know, what an amazing life that you lived, just five years in your thirties. And what an amazing death that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is blessing you with. The angels are all over. Sa'ad radiallahu ta'ala anhu when he passes away. And in one narration, 70,000 angels came down for the janazah of Sa'ad ibn Mu'adh that had never tread the earth before. 70,000 malaika, especially sent for the sake of attending and participating in the janazah of this man, Sa'ad ibn Mu'adh radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Now, when they took Sa'ad radiallahu ta'ala anhu to be buried, one of the things that the Sahaba said, they said that it was as if his body was carrying us. He was, the body was so light and it was going so fast that it was proceeding and rushing towards the grave and we couldn't keep up with it. And the hypocrites, they mocked Sa'ad. They said he's light in a, in, in a way of mockery. And the Prophet ﷺ said what? That that was the angels that were rushing him to his grave. Remember the believing soul says, قَدِّمُونِي قَدِّمُونِي Hurry up, hurry up, take me to my grave, take me to my grave so that they can enjoy what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prepared for them. One of the narrations as well is that the Prophet sallallahu says, اِهْتَزَّ عَرْشُ الرَّحْمَانِ The throne of the most merciful shook by the death of Sa'ad ibn Mu'adh radiallahu ta'ala anhu. The man's death shook the throne of Ar-Rahman. Now, that's a powerful narration and it needs some context because what does that even mean? Did it shake because of tragedy or did it shake out of joy? You might remember there's a hadith that the ulama likened this to that the Prophet was walking on Uhud with Abu Bakr, Umar and Uthman. May Allah be pleased with them. And Uhud shook. Why did Uhud shake? The Prophet said Uhud is a mountain that loves us and we love it. And the Prophet he kneeled down 
and he tapped Uhud and he said to Uhud, Uthbut ya Uhud, be firm, O Uhud, because you have upon you a prophet, a Siddiq, and two martyrs. So the Prophet Sallallahu Abu Bakr, Umar, and Uthman. So it shook out of love, out of honor, out of Haiba for who was on it. And so when we talk about the throne of the most merciful, it shook out of joy for Sa'ad radiallahu ta'ala anhu. And one of the ways that the scholars explained that is what? The Prophet Sallallahu mentioned that the souls of the shuhada, the souls of the martyrs, are placed in the bodies of green birds. Now, these green birds are not like the green birds that we would see or any birds that we would see, something that is heavenly. And those birds roam the gardens and the sustenance of paradise, and they eat from the fruits of paradise as they please. And then they come back to these chandeliers that are nestled from the throne of Ar-Rahman. So their nests, where they come back to, are these lamps, these chandeliers, that are hanging from the throne of the most merciful. And so the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as the ulama mentioned, the throne of Allah shook in a way of joy from receiving the soul of this blessed man for whom the angels crowded his janazah and accompanied him to his grave. And a man that the Prophet Sallallahu loved so much, but SubhanAllah said, even Sa'ad radiallahu anhu, if anyone was gonna be spared from the squeeze of the grape, it would have been Sa'ad radiallahu ta'ala anhu. But even Sa'ad radiallahu ta'ala anhu had the squeeze of the grave. So it's a reminder that every human being has to go through certain things, but all of us can aspire to receive what the soul of Sa'ad radiallahu ta'ala anhu received. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. If you enjoyed this video, please do share it with friends and family. If you want to see more videos from this series, click on the box at the top. If you want to see other videos, click on the box at the bottom. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks.